In a place once racked by violence and religious hatred, they can celebrate the end of a conflict. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, Mr. President. But President Obama and Prime Minister Cameron are preoccupied with another conflict right now, Syria. And they may soon have to get their hands dirty. In the last few days, the White House has said the scale and the scope of help to the Syrian opposition will have to change. And David Cameron agrees it could be time to arm the rebels. But another guest arriving here, President Putin of Russia, has called the rebels cannibals and thinks sending them weapons would be a disaster. So in the face of that, can the Prime Minister really start arming them? Isn't it clear, though, that President Putin still regards the Assad government as the legitimate government of Syria? So there is clearly no consensus on that. Well, there's clearly, huge, you know, there's a big difference between the Russian position and the position of, of Britain, uh, France and America and many others. But where there is common ground is that we all see the need for a peace conference, a peace process and a transition uh, to uh, a different regime uh, in Syria. There is some common ground there, and that's what we should work on here at the G8. That conference seems a long way off. The death toll in Syria is now close to 100,000. This latest fighting around Damascus will surely have added to the total. The British government has even started talking about the danger of moderate rebels here being exterminated if nothing is done. The summit here was scheduled months ago, but it's ended up being the venue for a tense standoff between the two sides on Syria. On the one hand, David Cameron and President Obama apparently wanting to arm the opposition, but not quite prepared to take that final step. And on the other hand, President Putin unapologetic about continuing to arm the Syrian government. There is much else being discussed here. These floating protesters are backing David Cameron's drive to persuade other leaders to make it harder for multinational companies to avoid paying tax. But it is the distant war in Syria which is disturbing the G8 calm.